I'm Claire from Utterly Hook Designs and today I'd like to show you how to make your latch hook panel into a cushion with just a simple envelope back. Here I have some examples of the kits that I have and you can see there's all different um, designs here and the simple ones and more complicated ones. For instance here we've got Veggie Patch which is one of my cushion panel kits and I went a bit mad with this one and put lots of tufts to represent um, the grass on it. And on the back I've got some nice buttons, vintagey buttons and I chose this fabric because it reminded me of the soil stripes in the vegetable garden. Over here we've got um, patchwork hearts and homes and on the back here I did covered buttons and I did it in a diff slightly lower here just to be a bit more interesting and some col colourful tassels there. And these ones have just got simple backs on them. This one here is called Traditional Twist and I've actually got a rug kit that matches it. And on the back here you can see that we have a simple envelope back. An envelope back is literally just one piece of fabric going over the top of another piece of fabric which then encloses the actual cushion pad. So that's what we're going to do today. Shall we get started? You will need your latch hook panel, pins, some dressmaking scissors, tape measure, suitable furnishing fabric is the best thing really, lightweight dress fabric is just not good with canvas, and a sewing machine loaded with matching thread. Right, let's begin. Take your tape measure and measure your cushion panel you want how wide it is at this point and you want the width you are going to cut your fabric out the width plus two inches for the seam allowance and the other way you are going to cut it out three quarters of the width of the panel let me show you what I mean with a piece of the fabric. You can see that this is smaller. It has got an inch either side bigger than the panel for the seam allowances and it is three quarters across the panel. Leaving this little gap here and this piece will then go on the top and they overlap making the envelope panel so that your cushion pad will slide in there. Once you have pressed your two identical sized pieces we are then going to sew seams along the overlapping edges of the panel and I'm going to pin these so we turn them once so you've got the raw edge and again so your raw edge is covered and then we're going to pin along here. So remember we're turning over once and then again so we cover that raw edge and we're forming a seam and you're going to do that right along this length. If you want to then tack this afterwards that's absolutely up to you but I'm quite happy to stitch this and take the pins out as I go along. And you're going to repeat this exactly the same on the other panel the seam is turned in onto the wrong side of your fabric. I'm going to show you now. So this is a bit difficult on this fabric, but this fabric has got a texture. And that's the right side, and this is the wrong side. So the seam is turned onto the wrong side. Once you've pinned your seams from end to end, as you can see on your two pieces, we can then begin to stitch on the machine. You want it on a normal running stitch. Um, it doesn't matter particularly what length, um, it's entirely up to you. And now we're going to start to stitch. Taking the pins out as we go along, or if you've packed, you don't have to worry about that. And we'll do this all the way to the other end for the two pieces. And now we've finished and here we are the finished edge and that just needs a press now and do the other one identically. 
I like to trim the panel so you don't have any excess canvas hanging around and I usually do it about four holes away from the hole that you did the last knots in. Just cutting along here and that's not going to be in your way as you're stitching. If you've got this which is the selvage on the canvas cut that off because it's too stiff to stitch in the sewing machine. Lay your panel on the table right side facing up. Put one side of the back panel on top of it with the right side touching the right side of the electric panel and this one with its right side down over the top here using the canvas that you trimmed off earlier as a guide to where you want the outside edges of your cushion panel and you can see that that is going to cover the panel. Then what we are going to do is we are just going to do a quick running stitch on the machine to hold these two panels together down this seam here and along this seam here. So we'll pin that now. just along where we're going to do the running stitch. Now that you stitch the two panels together along the seam here and the seam over here, it now makes it into one cushion piece. You lay it on top right sides together of your latch hook panel and we can begin sewing this on the machine now. Now we're putting the two pieces together, you've got the right sides together here. At this point it's not helpful to pin or tack I have found because as you're stitching you need to be able to continually tuck your yarn out of the way as you go along. And then we're going to put this under the machine. We use zigzag stitch at this point, this means that it can catch a tiny bit of the yarn as I'm stitching along and the canvas so that you don't get a gap and you get a good strong seam. We go a little bit at a time and as we go along we keep popping our fingers underneath, moving the yarn out of the way. And you can see I'm just catching a little bit of the yarn and the canvas at the same time, making sure that you're keeping on a straight line with your canvas and your furnishing fabric. Right, we're coming up to a corner now. Ease your yarn out of the way and come up to the corner slowly. And when you get to the corner, just stop and leave your needle in and swivel your fabric around, making sure your yarn is still out of the way and then you can continue with your seam. We've now stitched all the seams around the cushion as you can see and now we're going to trim them about ooh, half an inch roughly all the way along and then we're going to overlock or zigzag stitch on the machine and that will be the panel finished. Using a wide zigzag I want you to just simply sew along the edge and this will ensure that your fabric and canvas doesn't fray. Here we have our finished panel. I'm going to turn it the right way out. And then just gently push into the corners. Hopefully you won't have any yarn caught. If you find that you've got a little bit caught, don't worry about it, it happens to me. Tease it out with a pin and it'll be absolutely fine. All the corners are pushed out now. That's it that way. Here I have a feather cushion pad. I like feather but anything will do. Push it inside 
bring the other side over and you just have to ease your cushion pad sorry for all the rustling into the corners giving it a good pat and easing it in shake it and there we have it one lovely soft fluffy cushion with an envelope back that will easily come off to be washed and there you have it thanks very much for watching my video if you want to come and check me out on facebook or i have an etsy shop both under the name of utterly hooked designs we would love to see you